Greetings one and all. Welcome to the easy and delicious kitchen today. So I'm going to be making coq au vin, that uh, French peasant uh, chicken sort of casserole, a stew sort of dish, more casserole. Um, so I'm going to be cooking that in the oven but um, yeah we're just going to prepare some of our ingredients before we put them in the casserole dish. So to start off with here I've just got 175 grams of, uh, I've used bacon, but I've used a really good bacon, that Kaiser Flesh, really smudgy, rich bacon. Um, yeah, even though it's a peasant dish, we want to get some really deep, rich flavours into this, and yeah, using the good bacon's worth it. So yeah, I just, I've had that cut in about one centimetre pieces. Just then you know, I started with a little bit of olive oil, so to that I've got about 10 little cocktail onions that I've just sort of peeled, kept whole. Uh, I don't know what you call them, pickling onions, something like that. I'm going to put those in. And I've also got 10 cloves of garlic that I've just sort of given a bit of a bash. Um, with a knife, that can go in as well. Alrighty, so my bacon's looking nice and crispy. My garlic and onions have just been, um, yeah, just slightly heated through, not going off a massive amount of colour on them. And what I'm going to do. Let's just transfer the contents of that into my casserole dish. And we'll get the uh, fry pan back on the heat because next we're going to uh, just brown our chicken. So we'll just put that aside for a minute. <laughs> So I've got here some thighs, uh, skin on, um, bone in. I've got about four of those, and I'm also going to do some um, drumsticks as well, uh, with the bone in, of course. Uh, on those thighs, I'll just do the skin side down first. So I've been browning my uh, chicken there for a while, uh, so it's just about ready to go into my uh, casserole dish as well. I just want to finish it off there with a bit of uh, brandy. I'm just going to add a bit of a splash. Now I've got this pretty good brandy. Um, I know I said you should use good ingredients, but that might be overkill, but I just didn't want to buy. That's what I happen to have here. So. I didn't want to buy a, uh, another one especially for this, so in with the good brandy we go. A good splash of it.
All right, once that flame's died down, just going to um, transfer the chicken to our casserole dish. And um, again, we've just got some beautiful smells coming off the, um, off there, that brandy burning, a bit of charred chicken. We're going to get, like I say, get all those juices in there. So, um, what I will add as well is a few sprigs of thyme. And again, don't be stingy. We can fish it out later once all the flavour is extracted. That looks good. Now one of the main ingredients of cocoa vin of course is red wine. So I had three quarters of a bottle left from that, uh, I don't know if you saw those beef cheeks I cooked the other day. So that's all going to go in. As well as about 250 grams of chicken stock and I've got, um, I didn't make it myself, I'm using this Maggie beer natural chicken stock, I'm sure it'll be alright um, so yeah, basically I've got the oven preheating to about 180 degrees I'm just going to make sure all that chicken and everything's submerged in it and we're going to cook that for approximately an hour or so, but I'll be checking it along the way. Alrighty guys, so just while um, my casserole's been simmering away there in the oven, I've just melted a bit of butter in my fry pan. And I'm going to add like a good, that's probably a good couple of hundred grams of small mushrooms, which I'm going to keep whole. And I'm just going to cook those up in that butter. And I'll be adding it down the track to our casserole. Alrighty, guys. So, um, yeah, it's been about. Uh, Probably more like about an hour and 15 minutes and I've taken my um, cocoa vin out of the oven and it's just resting there so I just want to finish it off. What I've got in my fry pan here is just some like a big knob of butter melting and I'm just going to sprinkle some plain flour into that. <laughs> And I'll just let that brown a little. And then I'm going to be adding some of the liquid from my cocoa vin into that to sort of make a bit of a uh, thickening stock for my uh, main stew. Just while I'm doing that, I might take the opportunity as well to fish out of the um, uh, casserole dish some of those stalks of thyme. So yeah, I'm just going to mix in some of that flour now and just reduce my soup. Alrighty guys, so I've just, um, yeah, thickened up that sauce a bit. I've just put my um, chicken there in the 
casserole dish just back on the heat there. Uh, this time on top of the stone. And I'm about to pour back in my slightly thickened sauce. And let's get it in there. that bubble away on top of the stove with the lid off just for about um, 10 or 15 minutes alrighty guys so yeah I've got a plate of my um then served up. Uh, now I've just served it with some pasta. Uh, typically be served probably with some mashed potatoes. I just didn't happen to feel like mashed potatoes today so serve it with whatever you like really but um, yeah I've got some pasta to soak up plenty. Of, as long as you've got something to soak up that juice because there's plenty of yummy red wine gravy juice. So I'm going to try a bit. So yeah, I'll just taste a bit of the chicken to start with, and it's nice and um, tender, it's just coming off the bone there. Just trying to get it without making a big mess. Oh, yum. <laughs> oh boy, that is so good. That's how it sort of looks, so yeah, it sort of gets that red colour on the outside. But it's um, yeah, nice and cooked. Mm. Yum, huh? Like I said, there's plenty of that juice in there. Try a bit of mushroom. guys absolutely delicious I'm gonna sit down and finish this off now thanks for watching as always thanks to those who've subscribed especially those new Christmas day subscribers good on you for that that was a nice Christmas present and if you haven't subscribed yet yeah think about hitting that subscribe button I'd really appreciate it I'll see you all next time